It's uh, Tekoa and me, Paul. We're here uh, trying to remove the drain from our bathtub and it's clogged up and it's pretty easy to get clogged up with hair with these little pop-up uh, drains. So this is a Watco drain. It says Watco right on the side. Uh, I don't know if we can get focused on there, but it's, it's a Watco drain. And a lot of them have a little screw that you unscrew here and it releases it and you can pull the whole piece out. Others, you take the top off and you put a you put a screwdriver in and you pull that out, pull the stem out, and that's how you get that, those out. And we looked at a lot of videos, couldn't figure out how to do it um, until we finally uh, got lucky, I guess. Uh, we actually we prayed. So this is what you need: you need a needle nose, a couple adjustables, and and maybe a um, uh, a lock wrench. And hey, let me show you how you do it. All right, so just how you know how my drain operates, if I twist it down, it closes, but you can still twist it uh, around. So there's other ones that lock. So this is a Watco that just continues to twist even though it's sealed. So in order to take it off, you lift it up, you get your adjustable wrench. All right, so once you've lifted it up, you'll if you spin it around, there's a flat side. And so that doesn't really matter where it is, just put your adjustable wrench. Mine's all the way up to 9 16 or if you have a 9 16 wrench that'll work too. And just get it around the the bottom until you find the flat side. Let's see if I can find it here. There we go. Yeah, and then you can spin the top off. So most of the videos tell you that then there's a screw right here that you can unscrew it with. Well, Fortunately, with this one, there's no screw in the top nor in the side. So I just take my other smaller adjustable wrench and open it up some, and open it up some more. And this stem, lift the camera up so they can see. This stem has a uh, has a flat side, just like the bottom. So you just have to get your adjustable wrench around there, find the flat side. Oh, this washer, this one's a little harder, the washer's in the way, it's a little bent. So let's see if we can hit pause. All right, so I finally got the wrench underneath the washer there. So once you get it underneath and on the flat side, then you just have to turn the stem. There we go. Turn the stem counterclockwise until you until it comes out like that. And you can see this one's just like the other one. And oh, it stopped. 